Before creating a Glide app, we need a basic Google spreadsheet with the rows of data that we want to appear in our app. The first row needs to be column headers. For example, if we're making an employees app for our company, the first row could contain column names like name, title, email, phone, and photo, because these are the properties that each of our employees have. After the first row, every following row should have values in each of those columns. It's okay to leave some cells empty, but if we leave big gaps between rows and columns, Glide may not pick up our data correctly. Now we can click New App in Glide and pick our spreadsheet. Glide will read the data and create a default app as a starting point. Now we can get to work customizing our app in the way that we want. When we first import our spreadsheet, Glide will make a tab in our app for every tab in our spreadsheet. But we can customize how these appear in the tabs area. Let's hide the reports tab and change the icons for the others. We can also rename them here, and this won't affect our spreadsheet. If you create new tabs in your spreadsheet, Glide will recognize them so long as they have data in. However, they'll be hidden by default. So all you need to do is to drag them out of the hidden section and into the tabs area. We can now see that our rows have become a list of items in our app. We can change the layout of this list to suit our style and match the properties with the columns in our sheet. When we tap on a list item, we go to that item's details screen. Here, Glide now displays all the columns of that row in components. This is a great starting point, but we'd like people to be able to comment in our app. So let's add a comments component and link it to the name of the event. Now everyone seeing our app can see the comments made by other users. You can customize your app with new components whenever you like. Glide has lots of different types of components that you can always learn more about in our documentation. Now we can customize the look and feel of our app. Let's go to the settings area, change the icon, choose an accent color, and decide on a theme. When you create an app, it's in draft mode until you hit publish. In order to share the app and allow people to add it to their phone, Visit the Share App area in Glide and click Publish App. Now the Share App section gives us lots of ways of sharing our app with the world. Let's text the link to someone. When they open it on their phone, they'll be able to add it to their home screen and open it whenever they like. So that's a quick overview. To learn more about building apps with Glide, head over to glideapps.com slash learn.